low. Hope everyone's doing well today. my mouse on that window. There we go. Alright. Well, uh... <coughs> <coughs> Dashing through trash is over, so I get to do whatever the hell I want on my stream again. So here we are. Till you send me that dumb lion game, that's true. So this, um, this game's been in my ZZT backlog for a really long time. It's relatively early, and hearing Doss talk about it on, uh, his stream, Worlds of ZZT, which you should follow, um, if you don't, um, he talked about how this was, like, one of the early puzzle games. Like, this is one of the early games that actually tried to do something more than just, like, the basic ZZT puzzles. This stream is entirely self-serving. I really wanted to watch DOS's VOD, but I can't because this is on my backlog, so I have to get it out of my backlog. Alright. Nightmare. You went to sleep tonight as usual. You dressed for bed as usual. You pulled back the covers as usual. You turned out the light as usual. But that's where the usual stopped. Just as you were drifting off to sleep, you heard an eerie voice drift through your head. Hello, mortal. I am the Sandman, and you are my prisoner. I've been putting sleep in people's eyes for thousands of years, and I've decided I need a vacation. But to take a vacation, I need someone here in my home, the land of Nod, awake though they sleep for the duration of my time away. You are that one. Naturally, while I'm gone, there will be no one to distribute sleep to the world, and I'm sure that many will die of exhaustion if I stay away as long as I'd like. Which I will. But that's okay. This planet's overpopulated anyway. Right? Of course, I'll be required to return if you regain consciousness, but you'll never do that. For I've scattered your consciousness in little bits all over the land of Nod, and each one is guarded by one of my puzzles. And you... Being a typical adventurer who thinks with his gun more than his head, I have zero chance of solving even a few. So my vacation shall be uninterrupted. Goodbye, mortal. The eerie voice fades away and you are left in a dream world filled with an utter chaos of swirling color. Oh, I love supplies. Oh, that's a lot of ammo. Remember, it is almost impossible to die in a dream unless you cheat. Almost. Okay. This is interesting. The tiles are all the same in this room, it looks like, but... You can tell based on the fact that they're kind of pulsing with a different color pattern where the walls are. Aha! Uh -huh. You find one piece of your consciousness laying on the ground. You almost missed it amid the shifting color all around you. It's an S. Would you be interested in co oping Risk of Rain Returns? Um, I've never played a Risk of Rain, but I'd be willing to take a look at it at least and see if it's up my alley. We got a few keys here. 
Go ahead and pick up all the ammo in this room real quick. Okay, Saprisa. I strongly advise you to save your game here before continuing. I should make a macro for that as well. As a matter of fact, I advise you to save each time you solve a box. And anyone who has to zap in here is not worthy to be called an adventurer. Sign the Sandman. Okay, so where am I trying to get to? Is there something in here that would... I mean, the bottom there has those dots across. Uh, I guess let's... Um, let me adjust something in Antimicro. I tried to set up some settings in Antimicro to... Okay, that's working. To give me back my old controls. I, um... Let's see. If I push this one down, I can go around to here. Does that help me? If I push this one to my left up, I feel like I'm blocking some things. I'm not sure how I get some of these pieces out of here. So it seems like my only move here is move that one right and move this one up. I don't actually see another way to progress this. Am I going to enter this screen from somewhere else at some point? Oh, I can just push that through. Okay. But I can't follow it. Okay, so I'm in this box now. Where do I want to go from here? I think my only choice is to push this boulder down. Because if I went left and pushed that slider down, that wouldn't really help me all that much. So I think this is my first play. The question is, where do I go from here? It, am I doomed to push... I can't push a boulder into the next room. If I push a boulder into the next room, I'm trapped. That seems fine. So here I'm trying to get to the top right corner this time. I can't push down here, so it's either moving this sliding port 
portion to the left or to the right. But pushing it to the right doesn't do anything, so it has to be pushing it to the left. What am I trying to do here? And now I'm stuck? No, I'm not. Okay, I didn't see that move. Okay. So if I push this down and this down, and that gives me an opening here. Okay, and I'm out. Okay, so what am I trying to do here? There's two teleporters going back and forth right in the middle but there would have to be something between them for them to work. Which I can do, that's not too hard. I'm trying to get to the top right, I think. I could push this to the right and get through. I think that's my only move, actually. I don't know why I'm counting. This is literally the only move I have available is doing this. So I think here, I might want to block that teleporter. I don't think swapping out for a boulder is going to do anything for me here. Whoops. Didn't mean to start pushing those yet. I don't know if that broke anything. It's hard to tell. This box is a little tricky. Yeah, I wanted to watch Doss' stream of it, but it's on my backlog, so I needed to... I needed to get it out of my backlog. It will. I mean, I could just crush those gems, but I don't think that would get me out of here. Wait, can you crush gems with a slider? Yes. Good, I didn't want that gem anyway. It sucks. I mean, if I could take that teleporter right now, I'm in business. I win. Do I need to take that teleporter? I feel like I could just smash some gems and be done with it. Right? No. No. Teleporter feels like the only solution here. It, 
it had to, uh... That has to be right. This feels like an obvious correct step here. But how do I get to the teleporter? Hey, Cadis. So the, the tiles that are flashing, um, like the, the one that's sort of an arrow pointing down, the one that's sort of an arrow pointing up, um, those are, those are teleporters. If you go through one, you'll just move to the other side of it, unless it's blocked, then it'll take you all the way to the very next matching one. So by putting a block in between them, I've linked them. But now I have to figure out how to get in the bottom entrance. The bottom entrance is, uh... Blocked. Get that bottom one. If you look at the the yellow teleporter, let me enable my cursor again. Hold on. Like if you look at um, this teleporter right here, this would just move me to the other side of it because there's nothing blocking it on the other side. But because this one right here has something in between it, these teleporters are now linked. They'll take me to either one. So I'm trying to figure out how to go in the bottom teleporter. Trying to work the solution backwards, but it's not obvious to me how I would do this. Slightly more complicated how. I mean, you can like push things out of the way, but I think that still captures like nearly 100% of how teleporters work. Unless there's like some detail I'm not remembering. I'm not sure I see a way into that teleporter. Uh, I've been staring at this for how long now? If I push this up, can I get things to move to the right? Yeah, you're, yeah. Wait, doesn't this solve it? Oh, I can't move this one right, shit. That would require this being out of the way. And if I push these blocks up, I'm blocked. There's there's no solution. Oh my god! I now see I've been solving this incorrectly in my head. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, I see what I'm doing wrong now. I've been making this really hard for no reason. This is not difficult. I'm just silly. Oh, this is not trivial still. Hold on. Can I get through there? Hold on. Can I get through there? If I push this... If I push this up, I'm in trouble, I think. So, I guess if I have my cursor, I can use it. I was pushing these blocks in between to make the block, or like to make the, uh, make the path between them blocked, but I could push one of these up. So I can use one of these two that are in a row. Problem is I still need to move one of them out of the way. So I'm trying to figure out whether or not I want to move one out of the way in advance or move one out of the way. There's one other rule I'm not sure you've remembered slash learned. I guess I could shove these past. Does this help me? Yeah, I have no idea either, Cybergirl. <laughs> I'm like, I think I understand how teleporters work. I've used them a lot. I mean, I, I've been building my own game for months and I've, I've used them for stuff, so I can't even think of like what I'm not remembering. So pushing this up twice would be incorrect. What if I push this up once and then move it out of the way? Is that what I'm forgetting to do? Okay, I think I was just making that more difficult, like I often do. Okay, I'm trying to get to the bottom right. My opening, I think, has to go up and over. What was your thought, Cadus? I'm too curious not to ask. Unless you're thinking about crushing gems, which I know you can crush gems. Oh, were you just referring to being able to crush gems? Okay. Well, now I'm less confused. Always thinking about crushing them gems. If I push this down, then I should be able to enter from here. Okay. This room wasn't that difficult. I do enjoy a good ZZT sound.
trying to get to the bottom left of this box, and most any path looks like it takes me there. It doesn't... Hey, Artin, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. I wasn't sure whether or not I'd be able to have a, um... A, uh... Normal stream tonight, because of, um both uh, speed bump and um, talking pits tonight so I kind of wanted to do something here I've been only too eager to stream non dashing through trash stuff don't get me wrong I love dashing through trash I wouldn't put on my own marathon if I didn't love dashing through trash but like also it's nice to do something that's not dashing through trash Feels like the solution is like this, but this does not seem like it leads me anywhere. It feels like everything I do here. I need to like be able to get out of this. Oh, wait, that might work. Now that I've aligned that, I can push these down. That'll let me push this in. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright. These are perhaps some of the best um, sliding puzzles I've ever seen. I, I unfortunately was not born with the God-given talent of being able to design slider puzzles in ZZT. I was not, I was not struck by the muses with that gift, unfortunately. these gems so I can actually see what's here. Gems just kind of clutter up my understanding. Oh, there we go. Oh god, here he comes! Made me a little path, that's cute. Remember, you can always just turn around and walk away. You're always allowed to just leave. What a weird object. So true. That was weird. Why did it do that? Lord, this has so much going on. I'm having such a hard time following what's even happening.
They're activating when I just stand next to them? Yeah, no shit, huh? You give up so easily. This is actually one of the easiest. To win the prize, just use your eyes to trace your destination. Without your brain, you'll fail again and crack in your frustration. Your eyes can see where you can't be, so jump from hole to hole. So using them, work from the end to find the path to goal. Hmm, <laughs> that's really cute. Okay, give me a second. I'm just tracing it with my eyes. I want to be in that box to my left. I think I see the path if I can just get to that box. Because I want to go from here to the goal, so I need to get to here. To get to here, the only path I can see is coming down from here. And I think I need to put something in front of that teleporter right there to get taken to that box. I don't know what this is going to be. This is not what a boulder looks like, but... Um, maybe that's something? There is no up. This is nothing. Down doesn't seem like much. What if I just... What if I just trace a few of these manually and just see where they go? So that's a dead end. So it has to be this way then. Because the other one's just a dead end. And we're back. And what a lovely trip it was. Ooh. Can I get this 
That's not a boulder. You lied to me. You made me think that was a boulder. You made me feel feelings. Okay, so let's go back. Um, I do see a lot of, like, sliders that I wonder if I can make use of somehow. Look at all these sliders all over the place. What the hell? Is this something? Is this anything? I don't think this is anything. God, you gotta be a real sicko to design something like this. No, I'm back here again. I'm, like, missing a path, I feel like. I'm not seeing something that should be obvious to me. I think everyone's ever designed a puzzle with, like, a room timer on it where... If the if the timer runs out, it just auto completes and says you've been through enough. That feels like that'd be a fun way to design a puzzle.
I don't see any route that gets me inside that fucking box. Wait, I do see a route that gets me inside that fucking box. Hold on. It's here, right? That matches with this. Now I'm here. Sticker on the side of this machine reads, Sleep Producer. Press here for Clod of Sleep. I'd love a Clod of Sleep. Thank you so much. Hmm. It's that stuff the Sandman puts in your eyes to make you sleepy. Better not make too much more. You can't carry bales of sleep that big and you have nothing to break it down with. There's got to be something you could do with it, though. Yeah. There is. Because I'm sick with it, you see. Alright, so this is the goal. Now what? Yes, you've reached the goal. But the item you're looking for is way down in the southwest corner. You've got one more chance to obtain it. Come on now, this one's easy. Just poke about a bit more and the answer will grab your attention. Is it a fake wall? That's what I thought. You found what appears what you have been looking for here. It appears to be an S. You pick up the S and take it with you. God, imagine leaving without taking the S, you know what I mean? Like imagine you just wake up one morning, like someone hands you an S and you're like, no thank you, I'm gonna leave without it. Disgraceful. <clears throat> Yeah, I got another cool S. Check out my cool S's. Weird object. Alright, let's try to go out the bottom door this time, which means I need to push that slider down. Which means this slider needs to go up. This is cute, even if it's more or less total nonsense. I mean, building a puzzle where the puzzle is figuring out a way to take damage to go back to the front door is, I think, actually a fairly cool idea. Not just running out the timer, because that's kind of boring. No matter, no matter how you set that up, it stands to be boring. But, like, having the puzzle be figure out a way to take damage so that you can go back to the front door is, like, a really cool idea. Black box. 
Behold, my lovely black box, a puzzling marvel, a marvelous puzzle. You may have seen my other one. I have yet to conceal its innards. Be assured, this one's my favorite. A black box is a scientist's puzzle. Given an opaque box, discover what you can about what's inside. Mine is a variation on this theme. Given a box full of... But I've already given too much away. You'll figure it out. I say as I stifle a snicker. What a rascal. What a rapscallion. It stopped when I shot it. Do they all stop when shot? Ow! So is this the goal? To figure out how to stop each one of them, maybe? Oh my god. Is the fundamental flaw that I have so much ammo and I can just try every spot and I don't have to really learn anything? Because I was actually just thinking about that, about how I have no compulsion to learn anything here.
I mean, for me, the main issue is just that it's so large and lacks a grid that would help me, like, make sense of it better. I guess I could probably apply a grid to it. Whatever the case, this is not the sort of puzzle that I'm actually interested in, uh, solving legitimately, whatever that means. you're a sadist. Oh, come back here. S. That's my S. Here's a chunk of the ceiling. has fallen to the floor here. Maybe it can be moved? That one took a lot less effort. Oh, I didn't even get S cargo. That sucks. I hate that. I'm mad now. Strange object has become a C. You pick it up and add it to your collection. Hell yeah, I've got a C now, everyone. Please take note. It is possible to come stuck on this puzzle. Please save before beginning this room in order to prevent a loss of all you've done so far. Or all you've done since your last save.
Okay, so these are left and right. Down and up. And shoot left and right. <clears throat> I'm not sure that I fully understand ZZT Creator's obsession with, with, um, like, robot puzzles. This feels like this is a trope that comes up often in ZZT, and I don't know that I fully get it. There's nothing, like, inherently wrong with it, but I don't think that it's, like, inherently interesting either. What what happened when I press that white key? I guess it set a flag that the robot can now open the white door. I I mean I get the appeal of like being able to make a cool engine. <clears throat> I guess I'm just saying I don't I don't find the robot engine to be particularly compelling. I mean, even Tim Sweeney made a robot engine. <clears throat> right? Wasn't there a robot engine in one of his worlds? Like that side, try another. That's kind of funny. I haven't played any Super ZZT. I've booted up Super ZZT. <clears throat> Doesn't it by default use like a half width font? It's like weird, it looks weird. I don't like the way it looks because it looks weird. Look at this, we're navigating a robot through a maze. <clears throat> I assume we're having fun right now, right? This is what fun is? This is what fun looks like? I've been told this is what fun looks like. game punishes you harshly if you try to cheat. Well, I'm not a cheater, so I would never see those messages. It would be an inauthentic experience if I ever saw one of those messages. I realized uh, yesterday that my saves for 16 easy pieces are on my old PC. And I don't really know if I want to, like, drag out my old PC, so I might, um... 
I might just zap my way back to whatever room I was on. Next time I play it. Whenever that is. That bad shop. Can the robot walk on this? I don't. These don't look walkable. The buttons being placed where they were made that engine a little bit tedious, but I will say that as far as like a robot engine goes, um, that was fun. It was fun enough. This looks like it should be a door, but it's not taking me that direction. Something's moving around in the left part there. Oh yeah, I see it. I wonder if it's a shark. You know, just for, just for, just for the looks. I'll let him live. I don't see any reason to shoot the shark. What is next in the series? Fifty-five. My favorite part, the trivia section. What's the password?
Which of the horrendously exacerbated lines of excessively exhaustingly lengthy sesqu- I mean, misspelled is misspelled there. Is that what you're asking? <laughs> it's funny. I mean, oh, oh. Hey man, calm down. I have a cyan key. Wait, what? I'm literally holding a cyan key. But I found it. What? Is that did did it break? Is that broken? didn't say that was the right one. I guess let's let's look around a little more. Before I zap that door and get punished for it. I mean, I'll just zap the door if it's broken or something. I'm sure the game will be only too happy to punish me for it. I'm pulling up the board. I wanna I wanna I wanna see that board.
Yeah, that was supposed to set a flag called Got the Key, but it didn't? It doesn't look like the flag is interacting with the, the, the key at all. I have a theory about what might have happened, but it doesn't seem right. Is there even something in here that'll punish me for zapping the door? Okay, first let's save. That's what was supposed to happen, is it was supposed to set that flag. Sure you'll figure it out, not haha. -ha. I'm looking at the stats in the room and I don't see um, anything that... Yeah, I guess it's, I guess it's this stat, never mind. Never mind. So is my goal here to shoot the numbers in order maybe? Shut up. Shut up. I'm a, I'm smart. Shut up.
Oh, I don't know why I shot from that direction before, because this feels fairly obvious that that's how you hit the five. What are you? I have found a C, thank you. That's true. That's something a lot of people don't know about me, but I have found... Like I had war flashbacks seeing that room again. You stand in a very small blue room. Through a window, you can see a larger gray room with many bizarre things in it. Many of them look like freakish otherworldly machinery. This has got to be the Sandman's workshop. In the wall south of you is, is set a door, gray as the workshop walls. Through its own small window, through its own small window, you notice a piece of your consciousness. When you look around for a key, you look around for a key. When you spot it, your heart sings. How on earth am I going to get that? Oh, I guess we give up. Another robot engine? Oh my god. How blessed have we been today?
get a hat that says Dilry, which stands for Damn I Love Robot Engines. Hello, Derek. How do you feel about robot engines, Derek? You're goddamn right it is. That's right, you get that key through that door. You see, what makes those sorts of robot engines really good is that um, you... buttons are not where you would want them to be so like they put the they put the button for going up on the bottom and they put the button for going down on the top so like all the years that you've spent building up a sort of like sort of intuition for how things like that might work, that in that intuition would be in that case wrong. Oh, my name's Edward. What runs all day and runs all night and never gets tired? A river. Nice, but I'm going to start hurting you if you don't get him right from <laughs> Okay, well that's kind of an asshole move. Those are forced extra steps to reduce the chance of breaking. I love to retcon bad decisions too. I just got done playing a month of bad games. You'll enjoy those VODs. Throw away the outside, cook the inside, eat the outside, throw away the inside. Corn, right? Yeah, you don't have, no, you, I got it, I got it right, you don't have to explain it to me. When I get the riddle correct, it's because I, it's because I understood. <laughs> okay, then tell me what is the beginning of a turn. It's E. It's the letter E. Up, up it grows. 
up up it goes yet never grows not even trees are taller yet now it's getting smaller I don't know that one I guess the Sun Okay, but the sun could get smaller. Now it's getting smaller? I guess a rocket. If it's getting further away from you, it's a perspective. Oh, but you're not going to explain that. That one goes without explaining if you really think about it. If you really think about if you really think about it, that one doesn't need to be explained. What does this represent? A mess. You know, text boxes are in such short supply these days. Imagine wasting them on that. A box without hinges, key, or lid, yet golden treasure inside is hid. What is it? I love riddles. Input times five, aware and alive. Fed by the red, it continues to strive. Best riddle I've ever seen. Maybe I'm just getting hung up on the wrong piece here. I'm like... I'm, I'm like tripping over input times five and I don't know what that's referring to. I'm not sure I understand input times five, but fed by the red meant blood, so sure. Oh, input time. Okay, I get that. Okay. Sure. Yeah, why not? And now for the toughest of all. 
50 is my first, nothing is my second, a snake will make my third, then three parts across is reckoned. Now to find my name, fit my parts together, I'm your past, you fear me in cold weather. Name it. 500 Fang Cross, that's it. Oh, 50. Lost? Because L is the Roman numeral for 50? I don't, I'm not picking that. I didn't guess. Okay, you've demonstrated you can make doors. You couldn't just let me out of here? Alright, ma'am. I'm on to you. I would be so nervous if I made this. Because all of the collectibles are being delivered by... Um... By, um, late, uh, by, by flags, and I, you, you only get ten flags, so, like, I feel like I'd be really worried that I'd run out of flags, because the player just wouldn't take the letters back to the main room. Oh, I guess that's true. There, I, I guess that's not a risk as long as you make sure that each branch funnels you back through. Okay. Watch this space. Oh my god. I cannot believe I'm getting billboards in a ZZT game. Does this game do something goofy where it like stores them in a flag with like a name that represents a binary representation of which letters you have so far or something? I really hope it's something goofy like that. I think I'll crush this bit of consciousness into smaller bits. You don't have to do this. It didn't have to be this way.
It never had to be like this. fully tell what's happening when the shift occurs, but it's interesting. Hello? There's a door here? Is there a door here? Looks like there's a door there. Nice, Sky. Congratulations on passing the test. Why? 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 Damn, a whole S? Love that. I guess if you weren't going to do anything else with score, you could probably also keep track of which letters you have just using the score. I haven't been paying attention to, um... to whether or not anything else has awarded me score. But it would be pretty easy to just, like, store a binary representation in the score. I did find an O.
I love things like this, like when they make a little... And they make a little shortcut like that. Guess I didn't have to go that way. Ever. Okay. Hey, this looks a lot like something I designed in my world. You've been pulled into a sort of time distortion, and you're not even in Star Trek Voyager. Well, actually what's happened is you've been trapped in a giant clock. It chimes the hour, but it doesn't play a tune. It just gongs as many times as whatever hour it is. It also gongs once on the half hour to mark half past. All you have to do to get out is press the correct time mark on the edge of the clock and you're free. The only problem is that pressing any other marker will instantly kill you. Maybe I'll just save again for good measure. Okay, so it said it would kill me. What it meant was it'll kill me. Now there's a three hour period where in the seven times the clock rings, once at each end of the three hours and five times... Hold on, sorry. I just, I zoned out for a second reading that. Yeah, I understand that. Okay. Now there's a three hour period where in the seven times the clock rings, five times in the middle. So it's between, what, 1.30 and 3.30? No, 1.30 and... one thirty and 3.30 is not a three hour period, so that can't be it. Five times in the middle. Oh, seven times the clock rings. Yeah, that makes sense. There are exactly 10 gongs. Marker is the one. So exactly 10 gongs. So, for there to be exactly 10 gongs, 
I think it would be 12.30 to 3.30, right? Because 12.30 is one gong, then one, 1.30, two, 2.30, three, 3.30. Yeah, that'd be 10. As I'm done. Shortly. Do not save your game in this room until you have beat the room's puzzles, or you will not be able to reload your game? What? Can't seem to shoot anything. These are tigers, so they're not hurting each other. At least not that I can tell. I actually don't seem to be able to interact with anything in any way. I'm trapped. Is that wrong? Did I break it? Interacting with anything? Did I break something? Touching the tigers doesn't seem to be, um, hurting me. Am I just supposed to crush them all? It's kind of an interesting mechanic. I wonder if because there's another copy of the player in the room, if it just doesn't, uh, deal damage?
Oh my god. I just figured out what it's doing. Okay, so what is it wanting me to do? discover an N. You pick it up and add it to your collection. Cool N. No, not going that way. You walk into a room with bright green walls. It's much smaller than most of the rooms you've been in so far. Posted in the dead center of the east wall, straight ahead of you is a sign, a sign the size of a poster. I didn't touch anything I wasn't supposed to in the clock room. To my knowledge. Yeesh, even his doors are weird. As you complete the combination, the lock is deactivated, the sign it's, and its section of the wall dematerializes. Yeesh, even his doors are weird. Through the opening, you see a mess of blue-green shapes writhing and wriggling all over, with pink splotches on many of them. You realize that the pink spots are the dream glitches, and the blue-green mess is a huge pile of quarantine dreams. You resolve to be sure not to step on any this time. Immediately in front of you, you can see something half-buried in one of the bigger dreams. It looks like part of your consciousness. It's sealed in, however, by an official-looking cover on which is printed, Do Not Open Glitches Nearby. It's pretty clear that it's not going to open if there are any glitches within a quarter of a mile.
There we go. Got rid of that dream glitch. I'll probably finish up this room and then uh, I need to log off and head head out. I need to go to the gym. It's a little hard to see because it's kind of like green on cyan here, but these little spinning parts in the walls are conveyors. They'll move you either with them or against them. And that's doing a lot here. Yeah, they're a little hard for me to see even, and I'm playing it. I'm sure literally any video compression is going to eat them. got them all I think there's two more left Are you joking? Let me through you, jackass?
Okay, designing this this way is absolutely for fuckers. There's like conveyors that are working against each other here, which is a nightmare. Cool, now turn off the conveyor belt, you jerk. So I'm missing one letter. Where? I go south from the changing board? Which changing board? I'll be frank, they're all somewhat changing boards. Hmm, the annoying water board. I'm not sure. This one? Don't see any exits out of here. Oh, you're still doing that, huh? I'm not allowed to return. I wonder what causes the change to happen, if it's like a timer of some sort? It doesn't really seem like a timer. You know where I need to go? Hit me with it. North from the blindingly white grid board. This one. Oh yeah, I didn't even see that there was a north path there, I don't think. I've got... 
maybe a few minutes I can I can spare to try to see if I can wrap this one up then. So I'm trying to break all of those, I guess. This reminds me of a room from one of Sweeney's worlds. Now you have to do your own shooting. It's fine.
Oh, I got them desynced. Oops. Uh, there's another way I can solve this. Never mind. The way I was trying to do it was really convoluted anyway, so hopefully that's just better. As you return to the chaos in which you started your adventure, your consciousness comes together and clicks into place. You suddenly realize how to exit the Land of Nod. You imagine an exit forming near the middle of the room, and since you have full consciousness, one does. You are in an inky black void. Damn! Look at that guy move! Okay. Your eyes open to the darkness of your own room. You should be immensely relieved, except you feel you are not alone. Wakey, wakey. I know where to find you. You hear his chuckling fading off into the darkness. You gaze out your window. Nightmare, an adventure by Bar Jessing. Hey, How did I skip some text? Just because the text boxes weren't set up in such a way to force me to see them in order doesn't mean I skipped anything. Oh, I didn't scroll down in the previous one. Bummer. A path is cleared through the forest. We did it. That's a nightmare. Done. In the books. I do want to see um, really quickly in this menu how the letters were. Hey, 
I see. That is basically how I thought they would do it. Yep. It, it basically has a binary representation of the, the, um, the letters you've collected. So it, it consolidates four letters down into one flag. That's smart. Yeah, you can see it here if you care. Uh, it didn't. It didn't turn the whole thing into a into a link, but if you copy that whole link, it'll open up that element that has like a binary representation of what letters you found. That's pretty smart. That's a pretty smart way to do it. Um, let me guess. When you pick up a letter. Trying to find the stat that gives you the letter. All add letter. Who the hell handles giving you a letter? I can't find the stat that gives you the letter. That's weird. Interesting. <laughs> 